Hi guys, Todd here. This is review two of the day that I'm working on. And once again, this is the second time I've recorded all of this. Um, Philip Bush at uh, Pipple Mods got in touch and asked me if I wanted to review his Damascus Steel mod. I said yes. And uh, I'm editing the video for that just now. And he also sent on this mod quick before the rain starts. Um comes in this box. This is called the Venice. The Venice is a brass mod. Uh, prices, prices are actually very good in this one. Uh, Venice, all brass, um, brass contacts, and it looks like 70 euros for the 18350. And if you go for an 18500 or an 18650 tube, they're 18 euros on top for each. So, well, it's not by pricing at all. Um, here it is, little guy, with some, I'll show you, you'll get a good look at that, look at it in the close-ups. This is at an 18350 mode. And it's very similar to the Damascus in that it uses the same switch design and it also uses a 20 by 1 threaded tube so you can put your 20 by 1 threaded devices on there interchange the top caps with other devices um, what have I got here I'll take the top cap from the Damascus which is 20 by 1 and you can see that thread straight on so you can mix and match if you have other 20 by 1 gear it's really good that um, got quite a lot of 20 by 1 gear and I love it interchanging it all um, I think before I get drowned out here and the rain gets too heavy because it is going to get heavy today uh, we'll go in for some close ups and we'll show you this in more detail it looks better close up because it's got the that engraving is lovely my understanding, I think he will be doing this, this is in brushed, he'll be doing it in polished brass, stainless steel polished and polished and, and brushed stainless steel as well. Um, but let's go for a close up. This is the Venice. Yeah, well, as you can see it's called the Venice because it's engraved in big letters across here. Now this is engraved, it's not etched or anything like that, it's engraved. It's got a beautiful flourish going on with the V there and personally I really like it. I pro I'll probably will end up polishing this but uh, that's quite a dinky mod. Uh, like I said, reverse lock and ring. Do you get a serial number in this? This is number 53. Bottom firer. Logo on the bottom. Now this is the same as the Damascus. You, know, you can undo the button completely just by spinning it back or you can just keep spinning it forward until you find you know what suits you the best for firing as I said in another video yeah it's it's not ideal um, it's a bit of a double edged sword but you just have to keep your eye on it and make sure it's not unscrewing all the way but you'll know that because if you're firing with it you know if the button gets the throw gets too long you just spin it in a bit and that's it done it fires wherever you push it and it's quite a nice button actually venting on the tube there brass contacts adjustable pin and adjustable for battery rattle as well 20 by 1 threading so you can pretty much pop anything on there that has 20 by 1 threading uh, use your fusion mods, hybrid adapters, uh, lux dripper, things like that you know. Solid brass tube. Threading's quite nice in this, no issues with it at all. You can see that's engraving there. Switch, there an insulator here. Reverse threaded locking ring. So 
you can see right now this possibly isn't coming out far enough so all I would do is just spin it back a wee bit and that's it it's now coming out far enough to fire so you just play with this and this is the 18350 tube and you should be able to use a kick in these no problem at all well if you have an 18500 or 650 that is there's plenty of adjustment in there and it's a 22mm mod so that's it for the close ups here we are with a, a magma and also one of the any vape uh, drip tips which is a bit unusual for me a little bit something a little bit different I usually like my brass drip tips and whatnot uh, right here we go just blowing that out I think I've got liquid in the air holes in this thing Superb. Got to say the magma's great. Now this little guy hits quite hard. It's, it's there's no shame to the performance in this at all. Uh, it, I said in the, the the Damascus review, you know, uh, Damascus performs well, but not nearly as well as this. That brass tube. I mean, it's the same contacts. Hard wearing. Uh, it's the same contacts in there and. Uh, but just having that brass tube as well just seems to make all the difference. Um, like I said, I mean, you can 20 by one thread and you can, you know, put anything on this if you have a hybrid adapter or, uh, you know, 20 by one threaded atties and things like that, which I have been doing. Um, this doesn't fire under its own weight. It's the same with, as the Damascus. Uh, even in 18500 mode in the Damascus, it doesn't fire under its own weight. Um, auto fire, I should say. The, I mean, this was the adjustable pin was right at its limit with the the magma, but the magma has an unnaturally long 510 connector on it, uh, and but it seems to cope with that just just uh, but everything else I've tried has been spot on it still gets the magma on it but just um, got venting in the tube there it is really a, a beautiful little thing and it's not a bad bloody price either uh, you know it's not bad at all I'm, I'm quite impressed with it I'm quite impressed with would it would I buy it I mean I got this free for review from Philip uh, would I buy it for the price, I probably would. Um, whilst I like the engraving on the tube, it's not necessarily my kind of thing. Um, you know, it's... And I, I would like... I mean, I'm going to end up polishing this. Um, and just adjust the switch there. I do love the way you can just spin the bottom. That's not enough. You can just see there. I mean, that's how far the button's coming out. It just works great. I'm quite impressed with this. I'm quite impressed with this. Same goes for the Damascus as well. Uh, I think he's done a really good job in both of them. Um, at the end of the day, it's all going to come down to you and what you prefer styling-wise. Let's say I think he's doing them in stainless steel, brushed and polished as well. Um, you'll be able to get a hold of him on his website. Uh, not his website, his Facebook page, which the link should be about here somewhere. Uh, it'll be in the description if anywhere. Uh, so give him a shout on there. As I said in my other review, if you've any questions off the back of this, you know, you can get me in my Facebook page, my blog, or my forum. Uh, if I can't answer any questions on it, then, uh, you know, I'll just put them straight to the mod maker himself and he can answer you. Um, I've not seen any other reviews on this as yet. Uh, same goes for the Damascus. Uh, but, uh, you know, any questions, fire away. You know, you know where I am. 
Shed, Scotland. Um, and that's it from me. Thank you to Philip for sending this on, much appreciated. And uh, thank you to you, as always, for putting up with me. And uh, with any luck, this review will finally be the one. And I won't have to record all this again. And here comes the rain. We'll catch you later, guys. Bye now. <laughs>